Hi guys, welcome back. In the last episode, we didn't expand that much. We put down a passenger line here and passenger line between these cities. We replaced the trains and added a few more. And I said I wouldn't increase the capacity or add more trucks to this one, this line, but I'm actually gonna do that. Let's see, we have, which one did we have here? It's the blue line, no, it's the green line. And let's just clone some of those. Clone. Thank you. And the other thing I wanna do is, as soon as that one has picked up, it's good. I do want to expand this this station because there's never gonna be another line here because this is the only town within truck reach that wants food so I'll remove this, plat this platform and expand this one let's see a long platform yeah to kind of be able to store, store more food there let's go now, before we have the the exclamation mark uh, symbol here or icon, which tells us that food is going missing from the platform because it's it's too it's, it's full, it's too much waiting. But now it's gone, and we have a lot more being put here, so that's good. The downside with the long platform is that the truck has to go all the way up to turn around now these horse carts don't slow down much because they, they don't go fast anyway but when we get motorized trucks this this turnaround here is really slow compared to driving on the roads but whatever now we at least we can be sure that food isn't going missing okay and we'll, we have also paid down much of the loan. I'm gonna time lapse me paying down the whole loan so that we don't have to pay loan interests. So that way we make more money and we don't have to remember to pay down every, every, every time we get 500k or more. So yeah, talk to you soon. Okay guys, we have a new train. And oh, we have paid down our loan. And we actually have six million in the bank to play with. So let's build a ship line. Now the plan is first priority number one is to ship bread to Heartland. And then we can start bringing corn over to the ship to 
bring back to the food factory. And how we're going to do that, I'm not quite sure because these trains are already maxed out with a full load from this farm. So, well, that's step number two. Priority number one is bringing bread to Heartland, so let's do it. Let's do it. I want these to... Oop. So I want to bring the road under the bridge, so we'll place it here. Now, this is gonna bring both passengers and cargo, so... Let's just place that and configure it. Cargo... Who goes there? see, I want the gates to be toward, towards the boats, like so. We'll take a small dock with a landing, of course, which I always forget, but for some reason I remembered this time. Maybe because, because I'm recording, who knows? Like so. For future proofing, we'll add this. Now, I want it like so, like that, I think. Yeah. Then we can have a landing on this side. Yeah, that's cool. And let's add this as well. Just for looks. There we go. Okay, let's bring a road down there. Always. This one, beautiful. All right, that's fine by me. Then we need one over here as well. Do we want it close to the town or in the middle? We want it close to the town because we want to ship passengers and cargo here as well. Oh. enough now I want another design here so we'll do that and that nice okay trucks to ship our goods Let's see yeah we'll have several types of cargo here uh, so let's start with two platforms so we want them to be 20 meters I why not and let's have it on the end here 
I want it parallel to the dock. Yes, it is. There we go. Is that parallel? Well, I thought it was, but now that I look at it, it looks off. Maybe it's because it's not straight on the road. Try that again. It is parallel. As good as... Oh, that's better. Okay. And we'll place it there. Yeah, that's good. Okay, and we need passenger pickup. Passengers might be waiting a while, so we'll use the big bus stop. And we have one platform. Let's put it... Let's put it like... Yeah, there is good enough for now. And we want one over here as well. Boom. And... Oh. And boom. Alright, sweet. Now we just need a shipyard to buy our ships from. And where do I want that? This city imports machines in the future, so they need to have a reason for, to import that uh, those machines. Now they have a depot, so they're making money. No, they're making engines and vehicles, so we'll say that this town is our ship-making town. So let's place this here before we do that we want to extend this because people working like the people working in the shipyard need to need access with the cars and with trucks to all the big engines and everything so we need a road and we'll place it there perfect cool now let's make the cargo line first they're shipping bread so yeah, what's a good bread color? The one that we already had, I guess. Yes. I think so. We need a ship. Seventy two compartment. So this one can actually hold passengers and cargo. Yeah, this one as well. 1 to 70 well yeah both can and we don't have a choice so which one will we take we'll take this one because it's faster and since there's gonna be a, uh, a lot of bread here it might get priority over the passengers so we want enough ships to deal with the with the demand I'll th I think I'll start with four, just to be sure, and then we'll just sell some of them if we have too many. So let's put them on the line and pause this game while we complete the circuit or whatever, or wh what I should call it. We need a drop-off point for the bread. Now I'm thinking... I think they're gonna loop. Either way, so we'll just place it there. 
for maximum reach and a bus stop for the passengers there because it looks to me like all the residents are in this area so that's the town done and we need this one as well now I see residents all over this place so let's put it oh we already have one in this town of course and now uh, these trains are dropping off bread so we need the ability to pick up pick up bread to haul, haul it down to the docks but we also need to start uh, driving the bread out to the to the actual stores soon because yeah this station doesn't reach the houses in the back here so we'll have a pickup point right by the station i'm thinking here to save money we don't want to tear down too many buildings two buildings will be removed that's okay and a drop off point in the back of the city right there all right cool so now we just need the lines Cargo. Cargo. Passenger. And passenger. And of course, almost forgot. Cargo. Sweet. Nice. Okay. Now, I ha actually, I never tried having both passengers and cargo on the same boat before. So I'm curious if the passengers, passengers will actually walk, walk over here and enter the boat. Or if we need the boat to kind of go around and enter the passenger waiting area here. Well, there's only one way to find out. I'm guessing we have to do it the hard way, but I'm hopeful that this will work, so let's just try. And now we will try go for the Asian ones, just because we haven't used them yet. Let's start with eight, eight of those on this side. This, this, uh, this town is already growing, so hopefully we can fill those with passengers there we go and let's do the cargo vehicles as well let's do asian one asian ones thinking three ship throughout the city like so and we'll use one of these because they look more heavy duty American ones and I'll say five maybe to ship bread down to the docks yeah all right now we need a depot here Let's do it with European ones. Five here as well. And that would be the dark green one. Yes. And passenger. Let's just take these. And we'll go with four to begin with. Just two stops, so four might be overkill as well. Okay. Now we got bread here, we got passenger transport between these cities. Yeah, I think we're good. Let's do it.
All right. That's that done. We've used all our money. So I hope we will make him back. Let's have a look at these as well. Oh yeah, these are the ones with three horses. Three identical horses moving in identical patterns. But they're cool though. Okay, now these trains have a medio mediocre power rating and they don't have enough power to high, which I'm not quite sure what means, but it's not a good thing, that's for sure. But I'm tempted to add more wagons to them. Because they're not hauling enough. Come on. Oh yeah, look at this. We definitely need more capacity on this line. I'm not sure if I want to... Yeah, of course I'm sure I want to add more horse wagons. Let's just add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. Go, go, go. We need you ASAP. Okay, they might be coming from here. Yeah, they are. <sighs> Why? It must be because this stop is closer to, closer to, the, to this town. Yes. Sure. Well, that, actually, that's a good thing. A good thing because we want them here, not stopping in this, on this stop, and then going here. So that's cool. All right. Let's run this on for a bit and see how how this whole system works out. We got some bread waiting. That's good. So which way are you going? You're going to the docks. Cool. So the first piece of loaf going to Heartland is en route. And these ones are just pulling up now. They don't. They, don't, they can't carry a 120. But anything is helping at this point I'm guessing the line makes us good money at least it does now another another thing I want to do is like this line, no, not that one, but this one that ships bread to the back of the town. They don't really need to go if they don't have anything to deliver, so we'll just tell them to wait for a full load. And three minutes, that's okay. Yeah, wait for three minutes. And we'll do the same with this line. Let's see, where are we? There we are. Uh, yeah, I'm in the manage line. Stop number one, wait for full load, three minutes. That way we're saving money. Okay, do we have any passengers crossing the... 
the water yet? No. And the, th the thing is, I don't know if passengers will even consider coming down here if the, the whole thing with the ships stopping out the, on the cargo dock doesn't work. I don't think they'll, they'll even uh, uh, hop on the bus and go down here, so it's really hard to tell if it works or if it just doesn't work, if it's just no demand for, for uh, no people wanting to travel to Heartland, which I find unlikely. They usually want to just travel wherever they can. Because, uh, yeah, no people are coming off the, the horse carts. And do we have any waiting? No, we don't. So, do we take two of the ships and put them on a dedicated passenger line? Or do we just let it run and see if it works eventually? Because the, the line is complete at least, because the, the, bread, the bread is being shipped over. So, yeah, what do you have on board? Nothing. Oops. Stop being pinned. We have bread waiting here. Have you ever picked up? Yes, you have. But I don't think we need two or three cards here. We'll just sell this one. Sell. And we'll sell this one. Have you ever delivered? Yes, you have. All right, let's keep two then. Two is fine. And they don't cost much anyways. Oh, we don't have to pay down. Have to get used to that. Do, 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 do. We got bread waiting. Awesome. We don't have passengers traveling. Not that awesome. Yeah, because I you remember to put a landing there. Yes. Yes, the passenger dock was the first building I placed, so they automatically have landings. That's good. So yeah, it's just down to the... There's no passengers wanting to go on the boat. And is that because the system isn't working, or is it just because I ha I am imp impatient? That's the big question. Okay, I'm just too impatient. I'm gonna change this up. Uh, if you know that this works and you have done it yourself or seen someone else do it, just please let me know because I'm really cur curious. In my mind, this should work. Like, well, what's the point of this boat being able to carry both passengers and cargo if you can't use it to anything or to your advantage? Like, in real life, I'm guessing the boat would just stop at the docks and uh, the cargo people would just lift cargo on board with cranes or, wa or whatever while the, the passengers were boarding through the passenger entrance to the boat. But not in this game, it seems. So yeah, I'm just gonna fix that. Be right back. Okay, we have a passenger boat line, and now we just need some passengers to come down here and enjoy the nautical route. Like, look at this. Who wouldn't try this? want to try this 
form of travel. All they have had up until this point has been noisy, dirty steam trains and vibrating, noisy, uncomfortable horse wagons. Yeah. Yeah, that will convince them. All right, let's check some stats then while we wait. All right, so our trains are making mm, a lot of money. That's good, that's good, that's good. They're carrying a full load of grain up. And I guess there's a demand for bread as well. So they, the bread, the, so the food wagons are full on the way back, I hope. Yes, they are. There's 16 waiting here as well. So this one will be full. That's great. Now I'm seeing three passenger icon thingies and we have passengers. Yes, we do. Nice. Oh, and the first pass passenger on the docks. Where are you? Lily Jackson going to industrial building. So she already got a job over there, but and she's, and she's the first person to ever go on the boats. In, she must have been headhunted or something for the position. Now, Frederick Jackson is just... Oh, he's got a job over there as well. And this gentleman, he is going shopping. And he got a friend, David O'Neill. Lily Kelly is going shopping as well. Ah, look at all those people. They just needed a boat to stop or where it was most convenient for them. Good to know. Yeah, we were looking at the lines. Trains are making money. Uh, this is the food delivery is making money. The brakes are as well, passengers going good, good. Every car is full. What's this? Oh, this is a new food line. Not making much. Didn't expect it to uh, either. This is just so that the city grows at its full potential or whatever. Yeah, and this is the new lines. They're making money. That's good. This will pick up as time goes by. And the boats and all that is not making money, but that is would have been. Yeah, I didn't expect that yet. Of course, I'm hoping that we'll see some blue numbers here in just a short while. That would be best, but at least we have boats and boats are cool. Okay, what's next? I want trains. I want more trains. I want passenger trains. And I want... Trains. Trains. Trains, trains, trains. I want trains. Trains. 